if someone comes to you and they're like, my mom was just diagnosed with cancer, what do you typically recommend? Are you asking what kind of cancer or does that not matter? And what fast do you typically tell them to go on? Usually we do three or four things. The same that we just described, time receipt any For cancer patients, we usually move it to 14 hours because of data suggesting, for example, breast cancer women that were fasting for 14 hours every day, they were living longer, right? So that, that's one of the things we, we adopt. And then the everyday diet, but we, for cancer patients, it's very different than everybody else because we want to make sure they don't lose muscle mass, they don't become what's called cachectic, sarcopenic, right? So we don't want them to be frail. We want to, and we want the immune system. The, the, the number one defense um, against cancer is the immune system. If the immune system becomes weaker, then the patient is less able to do that. So we adopt the everyday uh, longevity diet, the fasting-making diet, and also ketogenic diet. That's something else that we use, uh, particularly with certain cancers, uh, like glioma, brain, uh, can- very aggressive brain cancers. For that, we also use the ketogenic diet and we rotate all these different diets. 